back, students. Today we're going to learn how to use this machine right here called the hand extruder, or as I call it, the coil extruder. And this is going to make perfect coils for you in case you are struggling with hand rolling your coils. Right, guys, the first thing we need to learn is how to put the extruder together. And this is going to be kind of a group activity where we're all going to be doing this together at the same time. So in order to put the extruder together, you're going to need this bottom piece, which is a big piece of metal. You're going to need this rubber ring that's gonna go in first. Okay, first goes the rubber ring. And then you're gonna to need to pick a plate. And these plates come in all different shapes and sizes as far as the hole goes. Like if you put this one in, you would make great big giant square coils. Um, I have some more like decorative types of coils that you can uh, use, you know, just your basic circle. Um, for this particular lesson, I'm going to show you how to make coils using this plate. Um, so you can imagine if I put this plate in and stuck clay through it and the clay ran out of the bottom of this, I would make all these different size coils. But because I don't want to do that and I just want to make one size of coils, I'm going to also need this on top. So we're going to select this size coil right here. So it's like the biggest one, the second biggest one, the third biggest one. And we're going to put this metal plate on top of it to prevent all the other coils from being me. So only that one will be selected. And then you're going to go ahead and drop that carefully kind of in there, making sure that that's lined up and the clay will be able to just run through that little hole. Okay. Next, I'm going to show you how to attach this to the coil extruder and then how to extrude your coils. Okay, guys, so these plates that I was talking about, they're located back here in this um, container. So if you're looking for where do I find the plates where it says extruder pieces, that's where you'll find them. All right, so the next thing we need to do is make sure that we have some clay. And we're going to wedge a fairly large piece of clay, just like this. And then I kind of patted it into a log shape because it must actually fit in this hole, okay? It has to fit in there. Um, each person will do their own coils, but we'll use the machine just one after another so that we're not cleaning it between uses, okay? All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this piece that we just put together, and we're going to fit it here on the coil extruder. So to do that, you just basically push up and turn, and it will latch into the hooks there. And you wanna just go like peek in and check and make sure that your everything's still aligned the way you want it. All right. And now I'm gonna go ahead and drop my clay into the extruder. Plop. Next step. Is this is what's going to actually push your clay into here and out through the bottom. But before we do that, we need to place something here underneath our extruder, otherwise the coils will just go all over the floor. That would be bad. Just a pair under my extruder with one of these um, canvas boards that are like located over by the sink on the chair. So that will catch my coils when the extruder is being used. Okay, so our next step is taking this, putting it on top. It actually latches here on the top. Okay, that's important. And then it's gonna fall. And you're going to like pump like you're pumping water out of a well. Raise it up and down and you're gonna feel it, hit that clay that's in there and start, you're gonna to start to feel some pressure. Okay. And you're gonna see the clay starting to come out there towards the bottom. You see that coil there coming out. Okay. Just move that down and you're gonna keep on pumping. This is where having a partner is helpful, so they can help guide that coil 
onto your mat. And we'll, again, we're gonna work together on this as a group. It's just really important that this clay is really well wedged. Otherwise, what's gonna happen is you're going to see all these air pockets kind of pop as you're pushing it through and your coils won't be very nice. All right, once you can push no longer, all the clay is through that you've put in. And you have a lovely set of coils, okay? Um, and they're perfect and they're, they'll be perfect to use um, for the next portion of your project. So when you're finished and you've gotten your coils, let me show you how to take this thing apart. Okay, this is kind of tricky here. But you have to kind of help by lifting this up and pump up while you lift. Until it comes all the way off the top and it becomes disconnected. You're going to notice that there is a very large ball of clay on the end here, including the plate. So that can come and pop off. All of this junk can then be like scraped off and put back into the clay trash can. And then this just turns, comes out, and there's your plate here that was in there. Your The clay rubber ring will also pop out. All of this in here is clay that is soft that can be scraped and put into the clay trash can. And then this actually just kind of gets wiped out on the inside with a sponge. And that's really how you clean um, up the extruder. Because you guys have limited time to work with being home and being at school, I'm gonna take care of cleaning out the extruder um, at the end of the period. So you don't need to actually worry about cleaning it. All you need to worry about when you first come in is wedging a large piece of clay that can go into the extruder. And then we'll work person to person all together to get everybody's coils for the day, okay? So if you're struggling with hand uh, rolling coils, this is a great device that will make your coils perfect for you. All right guys, now we have our coils that we made from the extruder. We have our coil pot that we started the last time that we were in class. And we're just gonna continue to build today um, or whenever you're in class next, using the coils that we made in the coil extruder, remembering that we have to scratch and slip between each coil. And we're gonna add on here. I'm gonna give you the option here if you wanna start blending coils together to create smooth surfaces, you're more than welcome to, or you can continue to blend on the inside and leave the coils to show. Uh, the next thing we're going to look at for the next class is how to actually create decorative coils. Um, such as swirls or coils on the front of our vessel. But today we're just gonna spend, spend the time um, creating the vessel to be taller. Okay, and I already showed you how to do that. Um, just make sure that when you're finished, any excess coils that you have that you made in the extruder go into the damp box along with your pot. Now, if your pot gets too big and it's starting to, not, it's starting to be um, higher than your damp box, um, if you go to the back of the room, I can show you, back there uh, behind the pottery wheels, if you go back there, um, there's some large, tall damp boxes, and that's where you can put um, your pot if it gets too big for your damp box. But otherwise, your coils need to go in your small damp box. Any excess coils or extra coils that you have can go in there, along with your pot, as long as it's not too big, and any extra clay that you might have. Um, and just make sure that you spray the plaster and everything is nice and saturated to stay damp um, for the next class. All right. Thank you. Have a nice day, guys.